Good morning, day 253 in our series 2 to 5. Um, yeah, uh, may have locked into a little bit of a, a formula with the, the audio stuff. Um, <clears throat> talked a little bit about it the last uh, few days and trying to determine like what tools do I need to use and in what order I need to use them in and I've, I've just been trying that out uh, yesterday and today and I'm having pretty good luck with it actually again what I've, I've sort of locked in on is there's a uh, noise removal uh, option within Final Cut Pro that does a pretty good job <coughs> um, usually lock that in about 50% uh, if you go go too much higher than that 60 maybe okay um uh but but anything higher than that it starts to sound a little like just weird um actually sounds worse than if you just left it alone i mean you can deal with some background noise but some of these sounds that come out when you take all of that out or 80 percent of that background noise out <coughs> with this particular tool it just doesn't sound right so that's the first step um then that uh, crumple pop, which sounds so stupid, I hate even saying it. But anyway, it's a pretty cool little add-in that'll take out another um, portion of the background noise. And then, um, and then the equalizer at the end, where you're just adjusting particular frequencies. <clears throat> Usually, when you take out all this background noise, there's just kind of like a like a high static, st staticky sound that is still left in there that you've got to kind of pull out again I'm the, the only thing I'm still struggling with this is when you pull out all that background noise uh, the voices are still they're light and uh, because again they're on the same frequency as, as some of the background noise so when you pull the background noise out it pulls out you know part of the part of the voice um, still not exactly sure how to fix that yet because I still think it's soft but um, just getting this background cleaned up is uh, is a good first step, and then we might have to go back and take another pass at it and see if we can bump those levels up a little bit without adding back in the background noise. But you know, one step at a time. So finally, glad I'm I'm locking that piece in. It's just nice to have you know, a couple steps, three steps to to walk through so that I at least know where to start and I'm not just kind of well, how about this? How about this? How about this? A lot of that trial and error is what takes so so long. So, um, so yeah. Um, so I'll get back into the writing tomorrow. Uh, haven't done that the last few days. Again, just been trying to lock down the the audio piece and and how to do that. But uh, just struggle of trying to you know trying to find that balance. So, but anyway, hopefully we'll get back to that tomorrow and. Um, that's it for today. So, tomorrow, 2 o'clock.